Hi guys, I'm Jelly Jelly Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk to you about my April TBR. For April I had to choose four books that have my favourite colour on the cover so I chose three books with purple on the cover and one book with red on the cover. And then lastly I'm still going to pick a challenge for my TBR jar and pick a book to fit with that challenge so I'll have five books on my TBR for this month. Three of the first four books I'm going to talk about I already have in physical format but the last book actually still has to come in. I ordered it from Book Depository but it hasn't arrived yet so I I will talk about these books and then just show you a picture of the last book. The first book I want to talk about is Miss Marvel Volume 4 Last Days. This obviously has a completely purple cover. I absolutely love the colour on this cover. And Miss Marvel is a graphic novel series following the superhero Miss Marvel, who is a Muslim girl that actually still goes to high school, but is also a full-time superhero. So she's trying to balance her superhero duties with her high school life and her friends who don't really know that she is Miss Marvel yet, at least I, they will probably find out, but not as far as I am in, in the series. I can't wait to read this. I've been loving Miss Marvel and I definitely want to continue on with this series. I got this one from my boyfriend for my birthday so I can finally continue on with this series and can continue on with collecting this really beautiful series. The next book I want to talk about is Foreign Fruit by Jojo Moyes. This is the Dutch edition of this book but I am intending to read the English edition which does have purple on the cover. This one could also count as red on the cover but I am going to read the English edition as an ebook. I got this one from my boyfriend's grandma and she bought this in Dutch and I don't really read in Dutch so I'm just going to read the ebook and still enjoy the story I hope. I've read a book by Jojo Moyes before which was Me Before You and I really enjoyed that one so I am excited to find out more about her books and read a completely different book, this time a standalone by her. The synopsis of this book is probably the most fake synopsis I have ever heard before so I'm just going to try and sum it up for you. It's about two girls who have been best friends since they were little and they kind of feel like they're sisters to but then one of the girls introduces her new fiancé to her best friend and for the best friend, it's immediately clear that her best friend's fiancé is actually the love of her life. These two best friends and this fiancé actually join a group of artists in this huge mansion. And a huge wall mural is being painted there that really explains the different connections this group of people have. But when Guy, the fiancé, actually sees this wall mural, he realises he's engaged to the wrong woman. 50 years later, someone else buys this mansion. And he's going to work together with this woman called Daisy Parker to renovate it. But then the whole past of this mention and these two best friends and this fiancé comes back to the surface. So it sounds very vague, but I am I am excited to find out what this is about because I really don't know from the back of the book. And it's also quite a big book, which I did not expect, but yeah, it's probably going to be a really good contemporary story. And I cannot wait to see how this will all play out with these two best friends and this fiancé. Then the next book I am super excited about, and that is The Mime Order by Samantha Shen. This is the second book in the Bone Season series, and these hardcovers are so beautiful, I have to tell you right now. I am looking for the third book in the series, The Song Rising, and it had a limited edition that just fitted really well with these editions. But now it's out of stock and I really can't find anywhere anymore, and they have these different editions now, but I am going to keep looking because I really want to continue on collecting the series in these beautiful hardcover editions, because honestly, look at it, it's so gorgeous. The Bone Season was really was a book I really enjoyed last year. The first book was about this girl called Paige Mahoney who was taken to this underworld prison camp. And this book continues right after the events of the first book. I am very excited to see what happens to Paige Mahoney. This is going to be a six book series, I believe. And I am really enjoying it. I cannot wait to continue on with this. And I really hope I like this too so I can keep continuing on collecting these beautiful hardcovers. Now the last book I want to talk to you about is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. And I don't know, I saw this book on the this March discount page for Book Depository and it was in the Penguin English Library Classic Edition and I'm really collecting those editions. I already have Frankenstein, um, all of Jane Austen's books, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. It's, I'm really invested. And I saw it and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So, and it's very short as well. So I will definitely dive right into this. I'm so excited. It's, it also fits really well with the purple theme I have going on. But Dr. Jekyll of Mr. Hyde is about is a book about split personality. It's about a guy who is Dr. Jekyll, but also Mr. Hyde. I really don't know anything more than that, except that I think there's murder in this book. And it's just about split personality. And it sounds super interesting to me. And I'm also wondering how the author is going to work all that into this very short novel. But I cannot wait to get into this. Then for the last part of this video I'm going to take a challenge for my TBR jar so let's see what challenge I'm going to have this month. I think oh look there aren't a lot of challenges in there anymore I've been doing real good with these so let's grab one. I'm grabbing this one and the challenge for this month is actually a book you can finish in a day. Oof that 
that's going to be hot. Honestly, I don't really have short books on my TBR anymore, so I think I will have to go with Miss Marvel for this one because I think it is the only book on my TBR right now I can actually finish in a day, which is kind of cheaty, but apparently I am not choosing five books for my TBR this month, I'm only choosing four, and if I finish all four, I will just choose from my overall TBR after that. So these are all of the books I am currently planning on reading in April. Let me know down below what you are going to read in April, or if you have read any of the books I just talked about and what did you think about them. I would love to know. Thank you for watching!